And tonight in this emerging age of drone deliveries and driverless cars, technology now brings us Robo Pizza. Carter Evans shows us how Silicon Valley is reinventing the pie. This kitchen is where technology and the culinary arts collide. Humans and robots work side by side at Zoo Pizza in Mountain View, California. And go ahead and place your order. You hear that bell? That's my pizza? That's your pizza. Okay, so let's go check it out. All right. Veteran restaurateur Julia Collins founded the delivery-only pizza company with Alex Garden, former president of online gaming company Zanga. I saw an opportunity to um, go after the $40 billion domestic delivery pizza market. And they say they were able to do it cheaper than the competition with help from specially designed robots like Bruno, who lifts the pizza into the oven. These robots were tomato sauce and then spread it, but a human still puts on the toppings. This is a step that's going to be automated in uh, March of next year. Um, Noel's what happens been, to his job? Noel's going to be helping us open our next Zoom facility in San Jose. So you're not worried about losing your job? <laughs> Absolutely not. The company is committed to using robots for repetitive, mundane tasks to eventually move the kitchen staff into the front office and shift focus to what Zoom Pizza considers its marquee innovation. This is a giant pizza truck. It is probably the biggest pizza truck ever made. A truck with more than 50 ovens that cooks pizzas while they're out for delivery using special software. When we're absolutely certain that you're just the number of minutes away from arriving for that particular cooking, for that type of pizza, the oven switch on. Wow, it's amazing. The truck is making test runs right now, but Zoom has already been delivering robotic-made pizzas for months the traditional way. Honestly, it, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> so I've had it once before. The ingredients are all pretty good. I don't feel like crap after eating it. Um, and it comes fast. Zoom says it can invest some of the money it saves using robots to buy better ingredients. Mm. That's really good. That's pretty good. Right? That's really good, yeah. It's going to be 170 calories a slice versus what you would see with a competitor at about 320 calories a slice. So this is almost half the calories? Almost half the calories, half the fat, half the cholesterol. Same price, and you made it with robots? That's right. A technical triumph any way you slice it. Carter Evans, CBS News, Mountain View, California. And that's the CBS Weekend News for this Sunday. Later on CBS, 60 Minutes. The news continues now on our 24-hour digital network, CBSN, at cbsnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen in New York. We leave you now with a look at the Albuquerque Balloon Festival in New Mexico. Good night.